Aztecs leading enterprise telecom brand. Hi everyone. Today we are going to present a short video on how to configure Aztecs IP phone model number 520. The box contains IP phone, LAN cable, power adapter, supporting stand for the IP phone, an HD receiver and a receiver cord. Now we are going to set up the IP phone. For that first I am going to connect the receiver cord to the receiver. As you can see there are two ports on the IP phone. One is for the phone receiver and the other port is for RJ9 headsets. Here I am going to connect the receiver cord to the port which shows the phone receiver icon. Now I am going to connect the supporting back stand to the IP phone. This is the way to connect it. Now I am going to connect the power adapter to the IP phone. One end I am going to connect to the power socket and the other end to the IP phone. As you can see now the IP phone is getting powered on. Now I am going to connect the LAN cable to the IP phone. As you can see there are two LAN ports. One is for the LAN and the other for the PC connectivity. I am going to connect the cable to the LAN port. As the phone gets booted up completely, it will ask for the language selection. You can choose the language according to your region. Here I choose English. Now the IP phone is ready to configure the PBX extension. Now I am going to check the IP address of the IP phone. For that you need to select the menu option. Once you select the main menu, you will get the status option. Enter the status option where you will get the IP address of the IP phone. Now we can see the IP phone has got the DHCP IP and the IP here is 10.0.1.214. Now I am going to open this IP in one of the web browser in my PC. As I enter the IP, 10.0.1.214 it will ask for the user credential and for the 520 IP phone the default username is admin and the password also will be admin and language you can select according to the region here I choose English and click on to log on button. Now I have logged into the IP phone where I get the basic phone information. Now I am selecting the line option on the left hand menu. Once I select the line option, there will be two SIP accounts. 
here I select zip 1 and then I have to activate the checkbox and now I am going to register 1000 extension so username as 1000 display name 1000 and then the authentication name also 1000 and I enter the password of the 1000 extension now enter the register address as a pbx server ip and click on to the apply option once the extension got successfully registered you get the line status as registered In network option, you can set the IP of the phone as static or DHCP. In phone settings, you will be able to do the call forwarding, call waiting, call transfer and all other phone configuration settings. Using phone book, you can add the contacts to the IP phone. In call logs, you get the complete call history of the calls made both incoming and outgoing, including the duration. Using function key, you can select the option for different programmable keys available on the IP phone. In accounts, you can create multiple users for managing the IP phone. Using configuration, you can export the phone configurations. Using upgrade option, you can upgrade the phone firmware. In tools, you get the option to debug the IP phone and reboot. Once the configuration is done, you can click on the logout option. Hope you liked the video. In case of any queries, please post your comments. Thank you for watching this video. Also, please like, share, subscribe our Astex YouTube channel for more informative videos on Aztec products and services. Aztecs, leading enterprise telecom brand.